Welcome back everybody to the channel. Back on I will play interview for Farmer Deuce. If you're watching later on YouTube. If you're not, you're hanging out on Twitch. How's it going? Battery, Ethan, Crystal, Split Skull, somebody we ain't seen in a little while. I'm back everyone. I see that. Welcome back, buddy. Been a while. Hope all is well and good for you. We are headed to drop this grain here off because we tried recording our own line with course play. It wouldn't work. So we're going to drive it down, drop it off. Then we're going to feed the cows. Then we're going to take these bales down there. And then we're going to start on that canola. Oh, so yeah. It's going to be... Uh, It'll be a fairly busy stream for a few minutes and then and then it'll settle down into just some harvesting and running grain around probably um although with the canola it will be september i think we're going to be chaffing as well so it may be pretty hectic may be pretty hectic today i don't know toothless how's it going welcome farmer group what's up buddy Just finished college courses to add, add your belt, EMT. Nice. Heck yeah, man. Nothing wrong with that. That's, that's impressive. That's very impressive, sir. Congratulations. Congratulations. Pretty big effort there. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm still doing doing just play video games. <laughs> uh, I have started taking some more shows though, Split, so I'm back to doing sound and there'll be days I'm not gonna be here again. They doing sound, just doing shows in general, whether or not I'm running sound or not. Back to doing shows again. Alright, we're gonna drop this trailer right here. we go we'll just catch that camera right underneath there perfect we'll get our other trailer and do some uh do some feed running here that's the wrong way got to back this way I like this old Mac right here. Thing looks cool. Plus, it was it's about all we could afford, and we had to, had to get rid of our other truck. It was causing some serious issues on the farm. <laughs> you might remember the space program that we tried to start. It didn't work out. Celtic Moon, how's it going? Good to see you. Got to restart computer. I bet you're already gone. No problem. Uh, Fire EMT, Police Computer Engineering, Software Design, and Mobile Application Dev. When I was younger. Very far different from the one now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, everything has changed. Everything is different now. I did try to get this truck all the way in there, right? It still won't go. Nope, it catches when the back wheels hit right there. It's so weird. I don't know how it, why it does that. It's very strange. Oh! Whoa, easy. There we go. We find the right setting there. Sheesh. Trying to push us through the door. We got it covered though. We got it now. We good. We's good. We's good. All right. Load number one of several here for these, these guys these they eat a lot more feed there's a lot more cows pretty soon it's going to be the same amount in both which is going to be extremely difficult to keep up with good thing is is we got plenty of tmr now though that's the only redeeming thing we have going for us is we got loads of tmr 
It's going to take lots of trips back and forth. That's the sad part. 4.9 million liters, or 3.9 million, almost 4 million liters of TMR, which is good, which is going to have to continue, by the way. We're going to have to keep making it. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get our uh, our final year in of feeding the cattle. These guys here are eating about uh, 80,000 liters a day of the good stuff. that dumped out in there we're just just under that fan there this thing will almost work just won't do it what's up voltage how's it going good to see you it'll almost drive through there right, how many more loads we need let's see About even with that one now. Let's go ahead and fill it on up one more load. We'll take one load to the other side. Then we can get started on everything else. I'm going to take that trailer back down with us. The yellow one's going to stay up here for chaff. The red one's going to go back down to the other end. We'll get started on canola. And we'll leave that trailer down there probably. There go. I can't remember exactly, but I don't think that trailer holds as much canola as it does wheat, because canola is a, a heavier crop and it's still based on the rating of the trailer. So. The trailer weight rating. Oh, come on now. I didn't oversteer that much, did I? I guess I did. There we go. Get that one going. Yeah, it should be our last load here. We have any left in the trailer, that's fine too, but I don't think we will. I think we'll be just shy in the barn of it. Having a full uh Oh nope, we did. We had twenty three hundred left in the trailer. Alright, let's go grab a full load from here. We'll take this over there to the other side and then we'll get started on everything else. And kind of a kind of a busy start trying to get everything lined back up for switching crops and then we got our our chaff we got to get started tomorrow too wanted to get the animals fed though so i don't have to do it tomorrow make sure they're all filled up we go Get these guys filled. I still ain't got no gravel port. I need to do that. That's got to be done at some point. We gotta make us some roads out here. When it rains, it gets tough to get through there. Because we're cutting through an old field, so it softens up quite a bit. What's up, Jeremy? How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. I don't know what in the world happened there. It's all over the place, I guess. Go. 
And they should take pretty much all of this. These guys are already down. They've already eaten 4,000 liters of TMR since I dropped it off. I dropped it off, filled up, drove over here, backed in, checked it. They'd eaten 4,000 liters or 3,000 and some change, whatever. That's how quickly 500 cows go through TMR. That's a lot. It's pretty doggone quick. All right, let's go ahead and drop the trailer back over there. That should be enough to get them through for another day. Should be fine. What's up, Ethan? Should be fine to get them through at least tomorrow. Uh, and second half of September. So I should feed them for about a month. All right. There we go. Go grab our red trailer, head back down to the other end. And then I guess we'll have to bring this back down here after we get this trailer parked next to the field ready to go. Bring the truck back down. Well, we can get our yellow trailer because we're going to be running chaff the whole time. We'll have to go down and grab this and empty it out when he needs it. But the sad part is we've got to come all the way back down and empty. We'll have to drop a trailer, come all the way back down, run chaff for a little while, drop the chaff trailer, run down to the other end, get this trailer back and forth. It's going to be it's going to be a mess. That's all I can do for now, though. Ain't nothing wrong with playing games. I mean, that's true. Yeah, honestly, man, I've worked more this winter um, doing sound. I've had, I did more shows this winter than I thought I would, than I did in previous years. I've, I've had a pretty busy, what we would call off-season 10 years ago, but there wasn't no off-season. Except for March, man, I think. Uh, no, even in March, two shows a month at least, which is that's quite a lot for us. And there's some I didn't do, so they did more than that, but I took I took about two shows a month. I'd say shows. Some of them are corporate, you know, speaking events, stuff like that, so. Staying busy is not a problem today, Split. Three YouTube channels, a Twitch channel, and doing sound gigs. Yeah, staying busy is not a problem today. I can definitely stay busy. <laughs> that is no issue whatsoever. I've got a partial video recorded for one game for Pixel Deuce Plays and a partial of another game for Pixel Deuce Plays recorded. And uh, neither one of them are finished. <laughs> I've, I've still... I'm still going to get back on recording my uh, Frontier One Acre Farm Challenge for Farmer Deuce YouTube channel. There's, there's still a lot. i got a lot to do. All right. If we park this right here between these fields. I think that'll be okay right there. I'll scooch over a little bit, though. We're going to start on 14, I think, right here. So, well, we can hop out and we can... Uh, Disconnect cables. We just try to back out of here without running over our crops. Go. I'm going to get John to take this down to the other end for me. And I'm going to go grab the forge harvester. John, take his truck down there. I 
Start job. Forage harvester. I don't think we have any more uh, stuff for this thing. The, the refill stuff, we may get some though. I'm going by the store anyway. And I really probably, we're, we're going over to the other side of the county. I really probably should trailer this thing, but that's all right. We can go fast enough on these county roads. I think it's fine. 25 is pretty good. People can go around us if they don't like it. The old bale trailer we're gonna get down there too. I forgot about it. That's all right. We're just trying to get stuff in place uh, for tomorrow. We'll, we'll get everything else done in a minute. We get down here. Get the bales dropped off. We're pretty much done with that trailer until soybeans are ready, which will be like October. So we got uh, canola and chaff, and then soybeans. We'll have sugar beets at some point. When are sugar beets ready? Sugar beets. Sugar beets are October. So we have soybean sugar beets and then what's left of our corn to make mineral feed so we're chaffing half that field the other half's gonna be corn I think is what we probably need to do or we'll chaff it until we until we run out of space maybe I don't know we'll see how it's doing so we'll, we'll play it by ear on the chaff slash corn so we'll have some corn to finish harvesting in October as well I'm just glad the soybeans probably won't take that long I was going to stop and buy some of this stuff here. Let's see. Pallets. Pallets. Is it uh, mineral feed? No. Silage additive. How much is that stuff? $2,900. And we're likely not going to use all this. We may, uh, may just squeeze it over to the side over there on the store. Leave the rest of it here. Or we may take the JCB, just still as JCB for a little bit. Uh, and run it over at least to the back side of the gas station where we're going to be working on corn anyway. It looks like it's only going to take about half this pallet. That way we can get a refill when we need it. Oh, okay. Well, the rest of that pallet's ruined. Never mind. <laughs> Just crushed it. Just smashed it. Go. I think we'll go ahead and stop, put some fuel in it. Probably needed. This diesel pump down here. Spend all our money. Don't open the pipe under here, you'll ruin the roof. What's up, Pizza Hut? How's it going? I made it. You did. I started pretty much on time today, which is a rarity. <laughs> that is a for sure rarity these days. There we go. Farming's going good. Farming's going good. We're getting everything prepped and ready to start chaffing tomorrow, I think. Got some rain coming in. I'm going to start right here on this corner. Try to do this in a way where I don't get stuck. But I want to do it before it gets too rainy. I don't get off in that ditch and get stuck either. Oh, there we go. Open that up. And this is ready for tomorrow. Right, that is done. Let's go get this one right here. Come on. Come on.
Oh, this was just a lot quieter than the other one, huh? It really is. This tractor is pretty quiet. I didn't realize that. It's always been that quiet. Probably. Probably has. I just didn't realize it. All right. We'll drop these and we'll be ready to... Well, I guess we can get the other harvester over there in place for John tomorrow. We'll stick with what everybody's doing. I'm going to be driving the truck this time, though. So. Uh, Jenna may be setting out for a little while. Unless we want to get one more hay cut in this year. Which might not be a bad idea. What's in the sell page? Oh, man. 222000 If we had the money, I'd get it. Really want to try one of them out. Yeah, we may get, uh, may get Jenna cutting some more hay for us. Do one more cut of the year. I know bales are kind of a pain, but they keep the farm running, so. We'll scooch these over just slightly this time. And that is it for them bales. We'll run this back down to the other end. Because even if we do hay bales, we ain't got to pick them up right away. Uh, we can just... God, the wind's really blowing, too. Look at the rain blowing across there. Uh, we can just let them sit. We'll pick them up later. But the uh, soybean straw bales, I want to pick up a sale pretty close to right away. They sell pretty good in October, November, December. I think that'll be good. All right, back down, we'll get everything in place and then we'll sleep and get started because everything's gonna be ready. Woo, harvest season. Always exciting, right? Everything going on at the same time, no time to get anything done. Getting up at 5 a.m., getting started when it's still dark, which we will be tomorrow because we got so much more than just wheat fields to do. So much more. Trailers in place. This is going to be back down here on this end. We'll get the harvester over there, get it ready to go. We'll start chaffing gonna be busy be a busy 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 day tomorrow oh we still gotta move these eggs don't we yeah we can't sleep till we move these eggs out of the way oh we probably need to feed the chickens too we'll drop this trailer feed the chickens and then go from there just drop it right here I think that's fine let's go feed the chickens first We'll grab the telehandler, feed, uh, get them some, get the eggs out of the way. Yeah, they're full. They ain't got no, no room left for eggs. Oh, look at them. They know it's feeding time. They know. Boy, do they. All right, there we go. That's it. That's all they needed. Just a little refill. Say all. That, that was quite a bit of chicken feed, actually. Doesn't look like it because of the size of the trailer, but the size of the pen, that's a lot of chicken feed. Go ahead and take this one back over. Oh, no, there is space. There's one more thing for, for eggs. It's like, we'll move the rest of them. We'll leave that one pallet there to fill on up. 
think we'll go ahead and put this one here back on this guy we don't have bales to do right now so if we are gonna do um if we are gonna mow hay one more time then we need to get that tractor disconnected from the baler and get it down to the other end Sugar beets, looking good. I guess I can close that up, you know. There we go. Y'all see something crazy? Watch this. I want to get both wheels. Let's try it. Let's get both off in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, she definitely bogged down. You not want to be in the field while it's raining. It never works out. Gotta get in a little bit. We're gonna turn around right here. Yeah. I don't know where we had this thing started, but I think I'm gonna try to get it started on this end right here. Just want to squeeze down in there. Come on now. Dang it. Right, I guess we gotta go to the other side. There we go. Fold it. Get her lined up a little bit here. And let's go ahead and set our route. See if there's one. What field is this? 14? Field 14, yeah. If there's a route for field 14 already set up. Big harvest, 45 foot. Oats. I don't know what the difference is. Let's see what this does. Oh, nope, that's it right there. That's the one. That's the one we wanted. All right, let's go get some tele handling done. I think it was that pallet on the end right there. It wasn't quite full, so we'll leave it to last. Go. Take it easy. No need to. Re no reason to get in a hurry. We could, but it ain't gonna do us no good. There we go. A little further. I know chicken eggs don't seem like a lot, but uh, there's some extra income for basically nothing. I mean, they pretty much take care of themselves in here, so. Is a bit of extra.
get lined up a bit better here. Forks out there where I can actually see them. That helps a ton. Welcome back, Crystal. All right, there we go. Eggs are taken care of. They've been fed. Cows are fed. Everything is good, as far as I'm concerned. I think we are good to go. Go get some Z's. It'll be a long day tomorrow. It might even take two or three days in real life. Can't quite find my door. There we go. All right, we're sleeping until five. It's gonna be dark when we get up, but that'll be all right. We'll work into the daylight. Oh, it's nice and dark on September 1st, isn't it? All right. Let's see what our overview looks like. Those are ready. That's perfect for chaff. We got one more day. So September 2nd or October 1st on the, probably October 1st on the soybeans and that corn as well. Uh, let's get going. All right, while I'm in here, I need to go here and tell it to unload itself. Combine self unload. Okay. Unload on first headland activated. That's good. Straw swath activated. That's fine. And that should be it. Oh. Uh. You know what? We'll, we'll help you out a bit here. So I think this header's actually hanging over just a bit. Oh, come on now. Back up. I'm hitting reverse. It just wasn't doing nothing. So now we've pushed it over into the field a little bit. So that's not good. There we go. That's what we want. Move it out of the way. Let's go nearest. No, that's the last way. That's not what we wanted. Dang it. nearest waypoint there we go all right sweet take off you do your thing we'll find our truck now We'll get over and start running chaff right now. Right away. Oh, we probably should turn on some lights. Well, this thing ain't got no brights. That's not going to be fun. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Got to start early on sometimes. And that is, today is a sometimes. Ain't no need wasting daylight if we slept till six. We'd be wasting daylight, so. Ain't no need in that. All right. Let's get out of here. We got Dean in the forage harvester. We got John down there in the. Uh, Grain harvester. Jenna will be with us today, but when we need her, she is going to be bouncing back and forth, doing whatever she needs to do. She could be about anything at this point, honestly. Somebody's raiding the outhouse. Quick, get the TV. There we go. NL Rider coming over the raid. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. 
Hope all is well. Welcome, Raiders. We get set up here and we'll, we'll get you a shout out. Should be okay, right? Yeah, it should be okay for a minute. Let me get tabbed out. There we go. There we go. Welcome to the Raiders. Thanks for jumping over here with your favorite content creator. Hanging out for a few minutes. Appreciate that. Oh, just doing some early morning chaffing, you know. We got to, oh crap, I forgot this ball. One of my camera, there we go. We got some canola harvest starting already on the other end of the county, and we got down here, we got some chaff going on, so. Busy, busy day, we had to get started when it was dark out. To get up at five this morning and get going. Didn't even have time for breakfast. Straight in away and jumping into things. Keep your hands in the game. No, it's all good. That's what the cruise control is for, right? That's what the cruise control is for. For some reason, your voice reminds me of Hank Hill. Well, I don't. I don't get that a lot. I've gotten uh, what's his name. Uh, Eastbound and down. Danny, uh, can't think of his name. I've gotten Danny, whatever his name is, a lot. But I don't think I've ever gotten Hank Hill. Breakfast is for losers anyway. I mean, if I eat a couple of fried eggs for breakfast, I'm good. I'm good for a, a while that day. But I got to eat something for breakfast. I can't think of his name, Danny. Uh, I was watching a video earlier of an interview he was doing, actually. I can't think of his name now. Oh, this thing's about to bury up in here, I feel like. Come on now. We're right here. Let's go. All right, well, I guess we'll just get backed in there then, huh? Come on, man, the pipe's there. This side. This side, you idiot. God, I swear, sometimes Dean is just hard to work with, man. Like, you see me sitting here, Dean. Swing the pipe around, man. Jeez. It is awfully muddy, but we're making it so far. That rain could have hurt us, but it looks like it dried out enough we can get in here, so that's good. Kind of sound like this guy named Do Some S on YouTube, yeah. A little bit. I've heard that too. Your name is Danny? <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, but uh, I don't sell propane, propane or propane accessories. Also, I mean, if you're not from the South, everybody from the South to you is going to sound like Hank Hill. So, fair enough. Danny McBride. So they're trying to think of it. I thought of it finally. Danny McBride. He's part of that uh, James Franco bunch that does all the comedy stuff. If you don't know who I'm talking about. First load of chaff, and we're only two rows in. We are going to have way more chaff than I want. <laughs> Let's go be honest. We're going to have way more than I want. All right. It needs to get daylight. That's all I can say. I know we got a farm over here somewhere, so we're just going to kind of run the... You can see the road, so that's good. Run straight across and run into some lights over here somewhere, hopefully. Nothing but the tail lights right now, though. 
It's a Clint Black song. There we go. Found it. All right, first load going in. Cut it back too quick. Hang on. There we go. Take our cruise down to about two. Oh, crap. We messed up already. There we go. Now we can let her rip. Oh, we got it all right there? Okay, that's good. I'll accept it. It's fine. Should be getting pretty near daylight. The sun's starting to come up. The sun is heating up the sky over there. Looking good. I'm jumping off. Flooring being delivered shortly. Yeah, man, sounds good. See you, dude. Appreciate you jumping in, hanging out with us. Congrats on your uh, achievements, sir. That's a pretty big deal. Almost ran right through the cornfield. I'm trying to get caught up, I promise. I don't mind staying a little bit behind him because I don't want to run into this ditch up here. We will too. Rest that get out there. All the backup beepers going off right now. Oh my God. Swing the pipe around, you moron. Let's go. What an idiot. What a maroon. Got to back back down there again. It must be sliding on the field. I had that thing cut hard and it still wasn't moving. There we go. Come on, you big dummy. Way me back off in the ditch. You made me back off in the ditch. Yeah, every time. What an idiot. Now, if I get stuck, it's on you. No, okay. Be lurking. Yep, no problem. Thanks for the raid, buddy. Yep, no problem. Split. If you ever go back and catch up on them, they're all on Farmer Deuce on YouTube. Appreciate you, dude.
Champ is not the most exciting job in the world. But it really sucks when it's dark. I thought the sun came up at 6. I guess technically it's fall, so... Looking more like 7. We'll get there soon enough. Guess we should probably jump down, check on John on the other end, down there by himself. Oh, it's getting light. Maybe 6.30. Starting to see some silhouettes off in the distance now. Good, good. I hit a tree? I did. Dang. I haven't put that big bumper on the front of this thing. That could have been real bad awkward. We just hit it again. Let's turn out a little sooner this time. There we go. That got his attention. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful sunrise. Anything better than a... Chaffing in a sunrise. I'm gonna find a good, good screenshot here. I'm like that, I guess. Whoa! What? What's happening there? That's not supposed to be the button. Hang on a second. Uh, which one is that? Let's see. That is not the right button for that. Platinum, manual attach, Boda pack, helper admin. No, not that one. Unload, go vile, got a steering game saver, FOV, easy dev controls. Yeah, no, delete. No, no, just, just get rid of it. Oh, what the heck? Oh, come on, man, it screwed up my screenshot. I'm not gonna have time to get another good one like that, I don't think. I don't, that, that reset itself at some point, because I had that off there. Specifically because of that, I want to take screenshots. Yeah, it's gonna screw up my nice sunrise shot. Dang it! Like a beautiful orange sky, screwed it all up. Dang it all! At least it's getting daylight anyway. <laughs> yeah, the game reset the hotkey. I guess I don't know. I had it taken off there for specifically because of that. And it's a, it's a alt control like comma or something, because so, that's not a combination you use, but it's all the right side. Dang game. Frickin' giants, as Bob would say. Fill up as much as we can here. 
all the way to the back. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. We done done it again. There we go. We got the wheels hung up again in it. We're good though. Oh, there's a light going off. It's definitely daytime. Yeah, screwed up my dang my dang old uh, thumbnail. Now it don't look as good. I guess I could just take it off a screenshot or something off the video. At least we can see now. Still the wee hours. Almost not the wee hours, though. I guess 6 o'clock doesn't really count as the wee hours of the morning, does it? Depends on who you ask, maybe. For me, it's the wee hours of the morning. That just don't look as good now. Very few times do we get up in this game before the sun comes up, so that's kind of a rarity. Definitely have to try to get a shot of that somehow. Oh, I need to make sure John is still moving down there. Let's go. He is still a going. We should have told you how much is in there. But he's still moving, so as long as he's not stopped, that means he's still got room to empty out. I guess after this load, we'll get the trailer and come empty it. Which ain't gonna take long. Remember, we've only done. One, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four. Four passes, five passes, this be fifth pass. Look at all that corn left on the field right there. There's a lot of it. It's 83,000 per load in this trailer. 81,300 or whatever it is. Figured that right there was almost as easy as trying to pull up and then back up. We just did it this way. We got to back up into the ditch anyway. I think this trailer's got three sets of axles. That's all I'll say. If not for that, we'd be stuck. We're never actually touching the bottom. We go from the back wheels to the front. upkeep on everything. We've got some ads about to roll if you're not subscribed to the channel. So you know, I like to run them at the beginning, middle, and then if they run at the end, they run. They're on auto set, but I like to do it so people don't have to watch ads on the way in. Unfortunately, if you get here right when the ads run. Though. Very unfortunate. Yeah, I think we'll go... Uh, again, it depends on how much we get. I want to put some of this in the farm production plant, too. But I don't plan on doing this whole field in corn. I mean, in chaff. But we still got a very, very long way to go. Let's be our fourth load or third load. I think this is our, our third load. Yeah, maybe we'll do four loads, and then we'll put some, we'll put uh, a couple of loads in the, uh, the farm production building. Maybe we can produce some methane, too. We got mineral feed producing on one side and solids producing on the other from chaff. So, there's three little domes right on the farm production building. Yeah, one 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 dome building is just for the mineral feed. One is for the chaff, and one is for the out, um, the delivery, the output. 
Pretty nice little setup over there. Oh, somebody on YouTube asked me to do a video showing off just my farm, and I've never done one of those. I mean, I'd like to give it a shot, see how it goes, but I don't know how good I'm going to be at it, but I can, I can try. Uh, I can't make no promises it'll be a decent video, but I don't really, I've never really made videos like that. Oh, that's it, we full. Okay. There we go. The field's dried up a bunch, though. You can definitely tell the difference when we started this morning versus now. A couple of hours is making a huge difference. Yeah, I think we'll do one more load here, then we'll start putting in farm production. Let's see how I want to do this. I think I'm going to try to get all the way over to that other side. Did not come back around quickly. There we go. Do it like that. Kind of back up, but it ain't led me. That'll do it. There we go. Make me a little ramp there. I guess how you're supposed to do it anyway. Oh, about cut that too short. Take out one of our sidewalls. Yeah, we'll do one more load like that, and then we'll put a couple in there. But we'll at least have some methane producing. Making some extra money off the of methane sales. go brother get it going again a lot of corn left on this field still this is a pretty good idea it's a lot easier than running from one side to the other Looks like he's going to empty out again right here maybe yeah leaving all the crops down here buying that field to do corn with was a great idea no he didn't look like he's making his round to start his uh, up and down runs. Well, son, you got to keep up. Crank that sun gun up a little bit. Let's go. We got a whole bunch to do. Yeah, one, Dean isn't sitting around waiting as long. Two, it's, it's closer, so we can stay on it more. We'll get a lot more done. It feels like it's going a lot faster than it was on the other end, anyway. Welcome back. All the ad viewers. Nine ads. Still the same amount of time, though. Or it should be. Same amount or less time. It shouldn't be more time. I know that much. is going pretty well.
Good lord, that thing just didn't want to cut back. Slaw dog sounds pretty good. I ain't had one of them in a while. Bumped the header there, but it didn't mess nothing up. It could have been awkward. Could have been real awkward. Streamlabs or OBS Studio. It seems whatever I use, I can't get the quality right. Also, I use AMD, uh, a slight, oh, also a slight issue of AMD not being stream compatible, it seems. Uh, I use OBS Studio, uh, but I use it in non-studio mode, unless, I, unless I'm doing a bunch of live, like, edits while I'm transitioning stuff or whatever. That way I can edit on one screen and then switch it or whatever, but yeah, I just use OBS Studio in, in standard mode. Um, but I use the Invec 264 encoding and I have a 3080. I don't know if that matters. Are you using an AMD video card? Because I've got an AMD processor and I used to stream with the processor. But I found that the, the new Invec update or whatever, I get better quality out of that. Load number four, next load will go, actually the next few loads will go in the side. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and start putting the silo. In the, uh, not the silo, in the, in the uh, farm productions, because it only holds so much. Everything else can go in the clamp. Go ahead and start putting it in here, I think. I don't know how much it holds, but. Make sure we, oh. Starting in the middle over there, huh? That's weird. All right. Let's see. TMR. Uh, it is slap full. That's a good thing. All right. So down here, we've got silage out of chaff. It produces 100 silage for 100 chaff, but 20 methane. We're going to activate it. We're going to go over here. We're going to find methane. We'll let it, leave it storing. We're going to go here and find methane and see when the best price is. It's actually not that much different year-round. So we'll just take the hit on it. We'll go ahead and set it to selling. And then uh, let's see how much calf we can actually put in here. Oh, we can put a million liters in here? I think that's right. Yeah, we're definitely going to get a million liters. Radeon RX 570 XT. The Red Devil and a Ryzen 7 3800 XT. I mean, that it should be fine. I don't know what. So I don't know what kind of. Um, I don't think I've. I don't think I've had a, an AMD card um, since like the early 2000s. So I don't know what kind of device hardware has it like for built built-in streaming stuff like Nvidia. Right, NVIDIA, the, the Invec is a whole different lane on the video card on the R RTX series just for streaming or recording or processing stuff. So um, I don't know what kind of stuff in uh, AMD has. So, um, But if it's got something that you can use your graphics card that has like its own lane or whatever, I just realized the music's been up the whole time too. My bad. My bad. Sure nobody's minded but i usually don't leave it up the whole time i use i leave it loud enough that if i tab out you can still hear it but not like blaring like that my fault 
Um, but yeah, I don't. Um, I don't know if it's got some kind of specialty encoder that you can use. I would say you use that. Also, what bit rate are you streaming at? And do you just stream on Twitch? Oh, you big idiot! You're gonna make me swing around behind you, aren't you? Six thousand only on Twitch. Okay. Um, well, I mean, six thousand is the max bit rate. So if you're doing six thousand bit rate, 1080p, and your internet speeds are fine, um, I don't think I've changed any of the, the um, like two pass encoding settings or any of that kind of stuff. I just leave it all like it is. But I go with um, on the actual Invec that I use or streaming or whatever the encoder I'm using, I've got it on slower or slow or something like that, where it's good good quality or, be or better quality, one of those two. So it's working my video card a lot harder, but I, I feel like that gets a lot better quality than, than running my processor or running it on medium, you know, processing or whatever. I run it on slow so that it, you get a better quality out of the processing and the upload. Because you're already going to have a bunch of uh, a bunch of weird stuff that it does when it, it it streams anyway. So the slower your processor is processing it, or your encoder is processing it, whatever, the better quality you're going to have, basically. So check those settings and see what you can get away with. What is a slaw dog? Chili dog with slaw on it. Yep. Or you could do just a slaw dog. So uh, just slaw on a hot dog. But yeah, chili chili dogs are awesome, man. Typically, if you do a slaw dog, it's a it's a chili cheese dog with slaw or a chili dog with slaw. Oh, no, it's really good. Really good. All right, we don't need to turn over, but I do need to get turned around. I'm going to try to do the same thing. I'm going to try to swing in behind him right here. We've got a good bit of this done today. This is this is, this is is going a lot faster than I thought it would. I'm going to be real honest with you. I thought this would take a lot longer to get this far into it. See if I can get him to... Oh, come on, man. We're right here. Come on, come on now. Trailer's sliding around. This is ridiculous. Or a Coney dog with saw, yeah, yeah. Never had that before. It's it'll it'll change your life when it comes to hot dogs. There's almost nothing like it, honestly. Oh, you'll go from there, but not from right next to you? You big moron. Yeah, 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 I'm coming. I just gotta get out of the hole now, because you're an idiot. There we go. Can't believe we actually survived that. Thought for sure some bad stuff was about to happen. <laughs> Maybe you should have read a headland. I probably should have, and I probably should have done it with the harvester. Oh, speaking of the harvester. Still moving. All right. I guess you don't get quite as much canola as you do wheat, so that's good. Probably is. I'm 1920 by 1080, by the way. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty standard. Um, but yeah, I would look into your settings and see what the... Uh, let, me, let me pull it up real quick. Hang on. Settings... Output streaming, and then you go down, you tell it how many bit rates you want, 
were full on the thing. And then your preset. So mine is uh, preset 5, which is slow at good quality. I've run it slower, but I get a little bit of frame loss in the game itself. Like, not through the stream, just through the game itself. I get more frame loss that way, or frame drop. So I went back to slow with good quality. And then my tuning is high quality, and then the multi-pass mode is two passes, quarter resolution, profile high, whatever all that means. Psycho visual tuning is on, look ahead is not. GPU is zero, and then max B frames is two. I don't know what all that means. All that's just the standard default settings for it. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's my settings for it. But again, it's gonna work differently depending on what you got, what you're using. The way your hardware matches up in your computer, you know, is it is it effective? Um, aligned hardware, or is it close? You know, do you have a little bit of loss here and there between parts that don't really talk to each other well? Like, but yeah, I mean, if it's close enough, it should be fine. What what software do you use? Yeah, that's mine under advanced settings. That should be that should be what you have fused in OBS Studio. But that's again, that's on the NVEC 264. I tried to use an NVEC new, but Twitch doesn't it doesn't offer that. So OBS Studio, okay. Yeah, so on um, just the the X264, right, which is your processor. If I switch to that as my encoder, my my settings are completely different. My options are completely different. That's just under the the NVEC 264, so it's using my graphics card. Uh, totally different settings than my, my processor. Should be making tons of uh, methane. Yeah, we must not get a whole lot of canola. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more canola planted next year. I can tell. Methane. Okay. Which you have 162,000. They're still making TMR. I mean, uh, still making silage, and the silage is still being sent over. So we're still getting silage either way. But I figure if I do it that way and make it in the production building, at least we're getting something extra out of it, like methane. Pretty good idea. I was going to mow, but I feel like I got enough going on right now. I don't have to deal with it. We're going to we're going to have some time in in uh, October when we're just running corn. Soybeans and sugar beets, so. But yeah, just just look for your preset um, and see what it's set to. Is it is it medium? Is it slow? Is it good quality? Is it better quality? Best quality? See what all that's doing. And if your computer can handle it with the games you're playing, uh, the better, the slower, the better. Especially if you're playing something. I saw you were playing GTA Five. Uh, when you came in um that's like because you're running around and doing stuff you're gonna need a lot more encoding a lot slower encoding maybe to get a lot better quality and actually not even a lot better it, it a little bit will do a lot you know so change like one setting at a time and see what you can get away with that doesn't affect your it doesn't impact your game too much where you can still try to up that quality some like i really want i've been wanting a, a streaming pc for years uh, one to stream and, and um, edit on. So if I'm recording, I can record on mine, move it over to my other computer, edit, have it rendering while I'm recording something else. Because right now, when I'm uploading a video, when I'm editing, when I'm rendering a video, I can't do anything else. I mean, I can, but I don't want to. It slows everything down when I do it. So um, it, it, for me, it would really, really, really speed my time up. <laughs> So I've got I've got to at some point get a second computer just for a streaming PC, and if nothing else, not for a streaming PC, just for an editing and rendering and uploading PC. I've got to try to do that at some point. That way I can keep making because trying to record and stream on two different platforms, record for two different YouTube. I hit cruise control. Come on now, uh, recording for two different YouTube channels three videos per week while streaming on two different two other different channels one youtube one twitch i just don't have time to sit and wait like i've got to keep going 
So I have to render stuff while I'm sleeping or when I'm gone doing errands or something. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, I've got I've to get me another PC. Like, it ain't going to be anything great, but I've got to have something else. Get up here next to him so he can at least see better what he's doing. There we go. There's the screenshot I was trying to take earlier. Steam, 3D3 gear. The editor has to encode the file. The PC use, uh, is useless. If not, it'll take 14 hours. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, So I, I record at 25,000 bit rate. I, I render it down at 15,000 bit rate. And then when it uploads YouTube, it compresses, right? Because YouTube compresses everything. So. If I record at 10,000 bit rate and then render at 6,000, because that's what YouTube recommends for streaming, and it also recommends that for your 1080p uploads, don't go over the streaming recommended, use the same scale. So <laughs> if I do that, it you can tell. Like you can tell when I when I when I render at the bit rate that it needs to upload without taking 10 hours. But right now it takes me a very long time to upload videos. So not because of my internet. I don't know what it is. Like maybe my ISP, but it's not because of my connection. My speeds are fine. But um, it's just not happy about something, and I don't know what it is. It's actually probably easier to do it that way. Oh, I can keep my wheels up here. There we go full. I used to record uh, stream on background and then convert two to three hour stream parts for YouTube. First part encoded fine. The final part was still reads the first parts. It takes 16 hours and 30 minutes. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. So in your, in your OBS settings, by the way, I didn't know this until recently. <laughs> what are you using to record? Are you using like other hardware on your computer to record while you're streaming? Or is that what you were doing? I didn't know this till recently, but OBS actually has a setting. If you go to your output mode and then go to recording, you can use your stream encoder. So it'll literally use the same encoder with no extra. Um, it, it'll, re, it'll record using like virtual software with no extra added uh, strain on your computer. So when I'm just recording, I use my graphics card, but if I'm streaming and I want to record it too to edit down later, I'll switch the recording over to use Stream Encoder. And I still get a good quality recording out of it. It's pretty wild. Like, I didn't know it was a thing until recently. It may not have been a thing until recently, but I definitely didn't know it. But then you have to either record or stream. No, no, you can... You can so it won't, you can set your options to, especially with OBS Studio, you can set it so that you choose when to start recording. You can stream and then start recording later. You can record moments periodically. Like if something, if, say, if, if you're about to try something, you hit record and it uses your stream encoder. It doesn't record all the time. But unless you set it that way, there is an option where you can uh, start and stop recording on start and stop stream. Or you can do it manually. And I've got mine set to manually. Like sometimes I'll be playing this and just hit record and just record for a few minutes and then see if I want to do anything with it. Most of the time I don't. Um, also, there's a plugin for OBS Studio called Vertical. 
by Atum, A-I-T-U-M. Uh, I don't know if you have that or not, but if you're making shorts for YouTube, Vertical by Atom is free, and it is fantastic. Uh, it's, it's, I'm actually looking at a, a 19, 1920 by 1080 window in my OBS studio, and next to it is a 1080 by 1920 window, vertical. And it's set up completely different uh, on a completely different record button. So I can record just the vertical if I want to. Yeah, look up look up Vertical by Atom, A-I-T-U-M. Uh, free, they keep it up to date. Uh, Atom's actually got a lot of stuff too for streamers and content creators. I mean, of course, it's like a, you know, for some, for a lot of it, you got to do like the paid monthly plan or one-off purchases or whatever, but Vertical's free. And it, it really changed my life doing shorts because if I wanted to make a short right now, I would just turn off all this, which it really doesn't matter because on my, on my Vertical, you can't see it anyway. My, my HUD. I would zoom out and so it's got a, um, I forgot what the button's called. Hang on. Let me tab out and look. Uh, backtrack. So it's called backtrack and you can set your time for up to like 12 minutes or 20 minutes. I can't remember. But if I wanted to, to record this right here and put some music over this and me just going around in a circle around this and then I wanted to stop and like zoom in, you know, and get another shot. I could do all that and then hit backtrack and it records the last three minutes. That's what I've got mine set to do. It records the last three minutes of what I just did. And then I can go back and it'll be a vertical slice that's already there and it'll be three minutes of it. So I can take it and make it a short really quick in my editor. Vertical is great, man. For any content creator, if you're not using vertical and you are making shorts and stuff on YouTube, or if you're streaming to you know TikTok or Instagram or wherever else you're streaming to, if you're like multi-streaming, vertical's the way to go. And again, I'm not I'm not partnered with Atom or anything, but uh, Atom is great. Like again, they got a bunch of stuff. I just like content creators being able to maximize, you know, be able to maximize their stuff. Oh, also, if you don't want to record your your um, backtracks in vertical. Just click on the settings because you have separate settings for your vertical window. Click on your settings and change the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and you'll have two 1920 by 1080s that are completely separate from each other. I like that action. <laughs> uh, and you can tell the vertical window that's now 1920 by 1080, so it's a standard 1080p, to stream to a different location. Of course, it takes up more of your encoding on your PC and more of your more of your network um, but you can just use it to record like if you have overlays and stuff on your twitch stream but you don't want that on your YouTube video you don't have to put them on your vertical window so again dude there's there's all kinds of stuff I mean there's all kinds of stuff you can do with it there's a lot of really Harris Heller has a lot of really good videos about vertical because he's part of Adam so I think maybe they just paid him to do stuff I don't know I mean I'm saying that but I don't I don't know if he was paid to do anything but um, he's got he breaks down a lot of it and it's really good I recommend it for streamers whether you're making shorts whether you're making recordings while you're streaming like if you want to just hit backtrack and set it to five minutes and then something crazy happens you hit your backtrack button and then you can take you know and make you a 20 minute video just out of backtracks just cut it down and edit it how you want to it's pretty neat yeah that way it's not so it's always looking at that refresh, you know, for, for how far back it goes. But it's not always recording. It'll only clip it when you hit your backtrack button. So pretty neat. It's pretty neat. I recommend it. If anybody's watching later and you're wondering what I'm talking about, uh, Vertical by Adam is free. I don't have anything to do with them. I'm not, I don't know anybody that, that works with Adam. You know, like I'm not partnered with them. It's not a sponsor sponsor read or anything like I just I, I think streamers should have all the all the info they can to make their stream the best they can or best they want to I'm, I'm happy with where mine's at like I'm not trying to be you know a hundred thousand dollar production a year so but I do like having vertical to do all the little extra stuff Go. Uh, 
Back down to the other end. Went to flip my ceiling fan back on high. It's only 66 today, but it gets warm in here in the office with my computer running. Back over here. Also, I got time to stand up right here and grab what I should do. Got the old ceiling fan flipped. But yeah, there's there's so much more to vertical that I could just keep going on about. But the, the big thing for me is the backtrack, the ability to set it as a as a standard 1080p instead of a vertical 1080p. Um, and then a separate record button for it. Like, that's the big things in my opinion. And I'll actually leave a link to it on the on the Farmer Deuce channel. And if there's a box anywhere that says, how did you find out about us? Just put my name in. That's all I ask. Put in Deuce MS. If you go download it. That's all I ask. Is if you heard about it from me and you used, and used the link below, which is, again, not an affiliate link, not a sponsored read or anything. Uh, I don't know anybody there. I've never talked to anybody there. I've never emailed them or anything. Um, but if there is a box, which I think there might be, who did you hear this from? Just put my name in. That way, maybe one of these days, I could work with with Adam on stuff. <laughs> try to try, you know, try to try to get that network out there as much as possible. You know, I mean, I wasn't a Trotto partner. I am a Giants partner, and I am a Nexus partner. So, who knows? You know, maybe, maybe there'll be some more networking opportunities in the future. What's the question marks, Crystal? What's up? I don't know what the question marks are for. Is he done down there yet? He is still moving. I, I need to go check and see what he's got going on because I feel like he's wasting wasting crops or something. I don't know what's happening down there. On YouTube, put my name in? No. No, no, no. We were talking about Atom, uh, the company Atom Vertical. It's a plug-in for OBS. And I think when I downloaded Vertical, it gave me a box to put in who I heard it from, you know, who, who I heard of the product from. And I heard about it from Harris Heller, so I went I put his name in. And I was saying if you, I'm going to put a link down below to Adam, to the Vertical slice, uh, to the Vertical thing that uh, is a OBS plugin. If there's any other content creators that watch this and you've never used Adam, uh, or you've never been to the Atom website and you've never used the vertical plugin, if you do download it and it asks you where you got it, just put my name in. <laughs> that way maybe I can I can work with them in the future, you know. Show that I can be some sort of uh, benefit to the company anyway. But yeah, I don't, I mean, again, not, not sponsored, not a partner. I don't know anybody there. Uh, I follow one of the creators on Twitter, but that's about it, so... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's all it is. I'm just gonna put the the Adam vertical link down below in the in the Farmer Deuce YouTube video. So, that's it. That's all it was. And I was just I was just saying, you know, shameless plug. Use my name that way they know if if there is a box for that. And I think there is. Um, that that way they just know who sent you or whatever.
But yeah, more for my benefit than anything else. <laughs> All right, how much do we have in there right now? Let's see. He's still going down here. Dang. We have uh, 320,000 liters in there right now. And it looks like we've already sold. We had 134,000, so we've already sold some methane. I think at the top of the I think it just sold, too, top of the hour. Like 1,000 per thousand, so it's not much. And for every hundred, we're producing, what, 20 methane or something? Yeah. So, I mean, we're not producing that much methane. We're not going to make that much money off of it. But at least it's something. It help, It helps pay for the, the extra uh, wear and tear, you know, worker salary, whatever. So. i got to see how much corn we need to make mineral feed, too. I don't remember the... Oh, it's just eight across the board. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter... How much corn we we put in here we didn't have any left though or some uh we don't need sunflowers though no we got cut sugar beet left we have uh, no water we can get water though. that's not a problem um we have two hundred ninety seven thousand in wheat in here so so far two hundred ninety seven thousand is the most we're going to be able to make like if anything goes over that we'll run out of wheat first i don't think canola is going to beat that though so uh, we'll probably we'll likely be going on the canola side. I think we may do one more trailer load of that And then see how much we get uh, In corn so I think we may do one more trip and then we'll wait we'll send we'll send Dean on a break um, Or we'll send him do something else and then we'll see how much we end up with in corn but I think we're about halfway of the field right now. Let's take a look at the the GPS here. On farm reduce and the about, I still have Nitrado partner. Do I really? Weird. Oh, no, we're not halfway yet. Um, this is, so, right here. It's about halfway of this part, which is the most. But that's really long over there. I'm going to call, like, right here halfway. So, we can do, we can still do quite a bit more. Yeah, I thought I'd change that. I need to go change that. I've been slowly trying to take everything off and, and remove all the Nitrato stuff. I mean, not that we still don't have our server on a Nitrato server, because we do. I'm just not a partner with them anymore. So on my homepage on Farmer Deuce, if you click about, it's still there. I need to change that, yeah. Got to do something about that. All right, one more load. I cannot believe he's still going down here, too. Eighteen percent. That trailer's about full, though. I know. I know what I just did. We. I know. <laughs> I'm aware. I'm aware. We stopped. I know. Uh, Dean's like, "Hey, man, what are you doing? Come on." I'm working on me. We had to go check on John. You know how you get sometimes. Yeah, because it's going to go under this video on Farmer Reduce Crystal. Again, when you stepped away, I think you missed the whole the whole part of that. I'm going to put a link underneath this video on the Farmer Deuce when it goes up on Farmer Deuce. And really, if you don't make content, you don't have OBS, then you're likely not going to go download it anyway. Why do you make this so awkward for me, Dean? Come on, get moving. I 
But yeah, it's, it's going under this video in the description once it gets to YouTube, which will be like, what's today, Thursday? Uh, Sunday morning? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's going to be a while. Yep, no problem. No, I appreciate you trying to support. I do. Uh, I just think you missed that first part of the conversation, Zol. Let's see. I think I got time to do this load, and I'm going to have to take off. So, yeah, this has been pretty good. Uh, interesting conversations today. If you have any questions about any of that, uh, you go to Harris Heller. He'll he'll help you. Uh, his YouTube channel. <laughs> go there. He can he can answer a lot of the the Atom vertical questions and other stuff Atom offers too. I don't I don't know about all that. So I know what I know and that's it. But uh, yeah, farming related tomorrow right here on Twitch. We'll be over on our community server. If you want to play, jump in. Outhouse community server is open to everybody in Discord because all the info is in Discord, so you have to jump in Discord first. Read the welcome message. Don't skip it because it'll explain how to get your farm sim roll. Uh, and then give yourself farm sim roll and jump in. You'll find the channels down below once you got the farm sim roll. And uh, Outhouse Farms is open to everybody. Well, welcome to jump on. They were doing pigs, so everything we've got goes through farm productions to make pig food. So corn, barley, sunflower, um, corn, barley, sunflower, and sugar beets is what we're currently working on there. With some soybeans thrown in just for money. Sometimes. Chaff, we're making mineral feed a little bit. So, yeah, I mean... A little bit, a little bit mix everything. Mainly pigs. Feed the pigs, please. <laughs> if you do jump on. Oh, now you're moving. Okay, I started backing up, and then you started moving. That's about right. All right. There we go. Last one. I imagine when we come back uh, Monday, we'll probably work on some more of this, but we're going to hopefully be switching switching over. Man, I hope we get at least 160,000 liters of canola. If we don't, that's going to be bad. I'm going to be honest. That's not a lot of mineral feed. Well, I mean, it'll be a lot because we haven't used all the mineral feed we made last year. So I guess that's okay. But, uh, yeah, either way, that's going to about do it for today. Last load going in. We're going to jump down and check out and see how John's doing down there, see how full that trailer is. Dump this in here. Once we hit the, the full mark on this, we'll start putting it in the clamp again. God, he's still going. That's great, actually. Let's see, where are we at? Chaff. Yeah, we're about to, about to the halfway mark. And we did dump um, 240,000 liters. No. 8, 16, 24. Yeah, we dumped uh, 240,000 in the clamp over there already. So there's just some raw, raw chaff sitting in the clamp waiting to be compacted and covered. That's something. Back up out of his way there. Let's go see how much is in this trailer. It may be full already. God, what did he do to the trailer? 70,000. 3% damage. You big idiot. Yeah, 70,000 in here. I'll send Dean on a break. And he's got 57%, uh, 13,000 in here. So that's 140,000. These fields are about the same size. God, I might need to take canola contract, guys. Just to have a bit of extra. That's canola right there behind me. I really don't want to, though. 
I don't like how this is laid out. We're going to change this next time. I don't like this back and forth down through here, which cut in the middle works really well because you're always cutting with your pipe on the outside. So if we were emptying them out, we'd always be able to get into empty. So this actually works really well, but there's no need for it for me. Like, we're just not going to use it. Plus, we need fuel in this thing. Jeez. I get some fuel at some point. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it today. It looks like we're going to end up with about 150,000 liters of canola. I knew we needed more. I knew we needed more. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but uh, either way, we'll produce enough mineral feed to get through probably. So that'll be good. I mean, the if we look at the, the TMR, we're not even producing TMR anymore because it's full. And there's still 188,000 liters of mineral feed in there. I think this is empty finally. No, there's still 24,000 liters sitting in here too. So we have plenty of mineral feed, I think. We have plenty of sugar beet too. I don't know why I did more sugar beet, but we did. We did. Uh, we didn't need it. But uh, either way, that's going to do it. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out as always. Uh, and remember, if you're a content creator and you don't have a vertical plugin for your OBS, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, first link in the description to Adam. I'm not a partner. It's not a sponsored ad read or anything. I, I, I'm not an affiliate. It's not an affiliate link. I get nothing for it. But I want content creators to know about stuff that can help them out. It's the only reason I'm pointing it out. I love it. I like it for shorts. Uh, if I wanted to record, if I wanted to stream one thing and record a different instance in 1080p, standard 1080p, I could do that too. It's pretty great. Uh, so there'll be a link in the description. If it does ask you how you heard about it and you can enter a name, enter my name that way maybe one of these days i will be partnered with adam that'd be great thanks uh, other than that check out my other channels below that in uh the description do some mess on youtube and pixel news plays on youtube also if you just want to come hang out for live streams on twitch you can twitch.tv slash do some mess and if you're wondering where you can go catch up on my farm sim videos and you're here live on twitch farm reduce on youtube youtube.com slash at farm reduce the at symbol farm reduce uh you can find it there i appreciate you find all of my links on linktree if if you don't want to sift through everything, uh, Linktree is just a nice, sleek, categorized uh, links. That's it. There's nothing extra. It's just links. That's all it is. Go check it out there. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you all next time. Have a great morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Later, folks.